everyone. So I finally have Mr. Timon out here in some natural light. Um, it is really bright out in the sun and so I have him in the shade. Um, so hopefully you guys can see all of his details well. Um, <clears throat> sorry about that. Had something caught in my throat. Um, but just some generalized details about him. He is this Charlotte kit by my favorite sculptor, Laura Lee Eagles. Um, and I believe that this sculpt was modeled after her granddaughter, which is very cool. Um, and this doll was created by uh, Jennifer Linkovix. I believe I'm saying her name right this time. I know in his box opening, I totally butchered it. So I'll put it on the screen as well. Um, would highly recommend she is an incredible artist with multiple skin tones, which I think is really hard to do. Um, so per usual, my camera does not zoom in well, so I'm going to now um, go in on a close-up. All right, so per usual, we're starting up on the hair. So um, Timon has combination hair, so it's partially rooted, partially painted. Um, the painted part is absolutely incredible. It blends in so well with the rooted hair. Um, it's kind of hard to see right now because there's a little bit of a glare, um, but in that, in indoor lighting and most natural lighting, it blends pretty well. So there's that. And his curly hair on top is actually human hair, which is really cool. Um, it's absolutely beautiful and it holds like a natural curl very, very well. I just brushed it and it's still, you know, super curly as you can tell. And then he does have like a little part in front that is um, bow hair just to kind of help it blend, make it a little fuzzy. His eyelashes are rooted as well, and he has, um, I think, a really cool painted look to him. The artist did a really good job kind of um, picking different highlights and lowlights to make his face look really unique. Um, I've never seen a Charlotte painted like this one, so um, I think it really makes the kit kind of a whole new look, which is really cool. And as you can see, he has lots of little capillaries on his cheeks. He has a great texture. It definitely does look like real skin, which is super cool. More capillaries. And my favorite part about him is actually his lips. I think that his lips are just incredible. They're the perfect color. They look very moist, super realistic. Um, I just love them, they're adorable. And then moving on to his arms, he has full arms, full legs. There's kind of that. And yet again, artist does an incredible job with highlights, low lights, and these blue undertones are perfect. They are amazing. Same thing with his creases. Everything is just done so well. There's his arm. I also love the way that Jennifer does her fingernails. Um, they look so realistic, like it blends really well and the fingernails don't look unnatural at all. It doesn't look like your baby has a manicure, which I think is good. Um, and I think that it fits his skin tone really well too for that newborn look. Um, I did change his original body. He did have a very thin body on and I was not a fan of it. So I got him one that was a little bit more chunky um, and I think it fills out his clothes a lot better. It's also made him a lot cuddlier, which I love. I made him a little heavier too. <laughs> so I think that he's probably about five and a half, maybe six pounds now. I should go put him on the scale, but anyway, here's his other arm. Yet again, you could see those beautiful undertones. And here's a better look at those nails. I think that they are just stunning. It's hard to get that much detail in such a small area for sure, but she did a great job. All right, moving down to his legs. He's got the cute little inner rolls, which I adore. I think it is so cute. I love when newborns have like still a little bit of roll, but not, you know, too much. And he's very curly. He curls up in your arms super well. Same thing, gorgeous texture, beautiful coloring. Here's his little toes, yet again. I have no idea how she like gets such small detail in a tiny little toe like that. It looks amazing though. 
There's the bottoms of his feet. Yet again, perfect coloring for a true, you know, newborn. Very red bottom feet. Very similar with this leg. I love these cute little newborn froggy legs. So precious. It's the bottom of that foot. And same thing with his little toes. They're just done immaculately. Alright you guys, so I hope that you enjoyed that video. Um, as someone who regularly buys dolls, I think that details videos are awesome to kind of get to know a sculpt um, or an artist's work a little bit better. If you guys have any other questions about him, please let me know um, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you. Bye.